Right, I'm going to show you how you can keep a check on yours and your team's figures and you need to be logged in obviously and go to my sponsorship that takes you to this page and then you have to choose the dates uh, whether you're looking from the period start to the current date uh, but today I'm just going to go for today's order so the 8th of the 4th and the 8th of the 4th and make sure you click apply and then below there you'll have all your team's details and the orders the order values are actually off the page here so the easiest way i've found is just click anywhere on that section and then use the scroll arrows on your keyboard and that brings you across to the end where it's got the sales and to scroll down you can either scroll down using the scroll bar on your computer or just use the the down arrows and so I said there's somebody's put an order in there somebody's put an order in there and as you can see at the bottom you've got the scroll bar there if you want to go back up to the top just click the home key or get back down to the bottom click the end key and that is about it um, when you've got all the figures that you want then you can export them to CSV which is basically Excel you just click that it downloads and then you open it up and it opens in Excel and that is what you get all your team's figures and you can use all the functionality of Excel for sorting columns and lines or searching so I'll just click in there and I'll go from Z to A so it's the highest to the lowest and that is the figures the orders that I've gone in today so that is a quick view of it obviously we've got to be careful I don't want to show all the teams detail what you have to remember is the sales figure here is in agent price so basically that is the distributor account price where to get to the retail price catalog price you've got to divide that by 75 and times it by 100 if you're on the excel thing that's nice and easy just click into a box next to it click equals and then click into the box there and then divide by 75 times 100 click enter and then obviously it goes to quite a few decimal places there and then you need to change that is that button there and then to get all of your figures just click and hold and drag it down and then that's converted it to pounds so i hope that helps and uh, i have heard that hopefully that soon that sales figure there might be another column there where it will have the retail figure so hope that helps and we'll try to do a better video at a later date